Hello guys, welcome to Ahad Animate. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a gobo. So basically, there are two methods to create a gobo. So I'm gonna show you both ways. So yeah, let's get started. What is a gobo? Here let me tell you. If a light is emitting on a plane, I have an example over here. If a light is emitting on a plane, alright, but an object is in the path of the light, a shadow would be created and that shadow would be called a gobo. Here I have created an example. It's my camera, an object, a plane and a tree. Alright, if I go to camera view, you can see I have a simple scene, but if I go to render view you can see there is a shadow of a tree and i have placed a tree under the light so that it would be casting a shadow on the plane so now you can see it's a really nice and cool looking shadow and lightning so basically this is called a gobo and it doesn't matter that if you put a tree or any object you can put any object if you want it would create a shadow and that shadow would be called a gobo so yeah i'm gonna show you two ways so let's get started let's delete everything Let's put a plane over here. All right, I'm gonna press shift A and add a camera. And I'm gonna go to top view and then press control alt numpad zero so that camera would be in this view. Now I will change the focal length to be 100 like this. So yeah, now I'm gonna press shift A and I'm gonna add a light and move it above this camera like this maybe and then scale it something like this now if i go to render view my scene would be looking like this but if i increase the power to let's say 2500 or maybe 3000 or maybe 3500 yeah now you can see it's a simple looking lightning nothing to advance i'm gonna just change the spread value to zero or maybe one and then put the power to 2000 now you can see it's very you know simple and not looking great but if i add anything over here like let's suppose i add a tree so i'm gonna save and now i'm gonna just click unhide and then add a tree this one you can add anything you want all right now you can see this tree is added now i'm gonna select it's empty like this and then move it above the camera but it should be beneath the light so i'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees in the x-axis and then move it above now you can see the tree is not in the camera view so that's great now i'm gonna go to render view go to render view and then scale this tree and then move it over here and then move it above the camera so yeah now you can see a shadow is created but the shadow is not clear so i'm gonna select this light and then the spread i'm gonna just put it to zero or maybe 0 0.2 so now you can see it's a really nice uh, effect and a really nice shadow and this is called a gobo now i'm gonna press shift a add a monkey i guess and then move it in the z axis and then i'm gonna rotate it and move it over here now i'm gonna select this plane and then i'm gonna change it to black color and the metallic a bit high and the roughness should be something like this now you can see it's uh, really nice you can add anything you want in front of the light and it would create a shadow so the, now you can see you can use this method like in a room scene like if you are creating a short film or a scene and the scene is a room scene now you will add a sunlight in front of the window and you will add a tree an image of a tree or a tree in front of the sunlight and that tree would be in a path of the sunlight it would be casting the shadow in the room and that would be looking very nice all right so yeah now this is the method one now i'm gonna show you the method two instead of uh, just putting an object in the light i'm gonna use nodes to create this shadow like i'm gonna delete everything press shift a add a plane and then shift a add a light move it 
अब स्केल एट पावर टू बी टू थाउजेंड इन द स्प्रेड वुड बी जीरो पॉइंट टू सो या नाउ आई एम गना एड नोट्स टू दिस लाइट आई एम गना एड मटीरियल टू दिस लाइट सो दैट इट वुड कास्ट द सेम शेडो इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट एडिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट सो या आई एम गना सेलेक्ट दिस लाइट आई एम गना गो टू शेडिंग नाउ यू कैन सी आई कैंट एड एनी यू नो मटीरियल नोट्स but if we click on this option use nodes now you can see two nodes are added light output and emission now i'm going to add more nodes to create that gobo you can add a tree gobo you can add anything you want i'm just going to go to z axis like this and go over here all right now i'm going to press shift a add a noise texture like this i'm going to add a color ramp like this and yeah if i put the color ramps color in emissions color and then noise textures color in the factor of the color ramp it would create something like this and if i turn down the values of the scale under the noise texture you can see it's creating this kind of effect i'm going to put it in i guess this is nice for now all right now if i put this value if i turn the black color more like 0.3 you can see it create something like this now i'm going to select this noise texture first of all i'm going to go to edit preferences and i'm going to search for node regular add on and then you have to turn on it now if i select this noise texture and press control t control t now you can see it has added two more nodes mapping node and a texture coordinate node you can scale or rotate this whole node system like if i want to scale it i i will increase the scaling in the y as you can see if i want to do anything i can do with the mapping node i will just scale it in the x axis and yeah now from over here i will do it to 0.5 or something you can add anything you want i'm going to choose the color you can also choose the color and let's suppose this is our rooms wall and this is our tree you can add tree texture also i'm going to show you how to just open google search for tree png tree image png and you can see uh, i have this image i can just select this right click and then save image as and i'm going to save it right over here like this now i'm going to just select this node and then delete it now i'm going to press shift a add a node and it would be our image texture and i'm going to press open and then i'm going to select this image this one now i'm going to just put it in the color ramp now you can see the tree image is in the lights so now you can just put the value of the strength more and you can add anything you want all right i'm going to add a color ramp over here just add a color ramp This is just a simple way to create these kind of shadows. Now I'm going to add a cube, move it in the z axis and I if I rotate it something like this. Now you you can see it's creating really nice shadows. You can play with this I uh, it's a really simple node system. You can add more things over here. You can add more nodes to create it more natural and more advanced. I I just show you two ways. One is that you have to put an object under the light and the second is you can use nodes instead of putting an object under the light so these were the two ways you can create the gobos i hope this tutorial helped you a lot this lighting setup is very useful in the product animation or product visualization or any other scene in the short film in the games or something like that so i hope you learned something from this video if you do then drop a like and then please guys subscribe my channel I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.